guys! I am not dead. I am back. Uh, and we have a lot to talk about. So, first of all, I want to apologize. I have been a terrible booktuber. Uh, I expected to have at least once a week updates on NaNoWriMo on this vlog. Um, that was my goal, was to have at least four videos for the month. And unfortunately, as you are undoubtedly aware, I got two videos up during the month of November. Um, and they were day one and day two of NaNoWriMo. I got sick. I was busy trying to do NaNoWriMo. I was busy doing a whole bunch of other crap. And basically this fell to the wayside. So I want to apologize and I'm back for real. And I'm going to be making my videos. And thank you for those of you have, who have stuck around and to the new people that have joined. Thank you. And hopefully, you know, this gets, we get weird, we get crazy. Um, have gotten a little bit crazier. Sitting around all month, writing your thoughts down in a uh, fictional novel form. Yeah. Kind of makes you crazy. Like, crazier than I already was. Seriously. Yesterday I was licking things like chairs and walls and things. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Or am I? So I am here to do my November wrap up. Um, and seeing as I didn't have any reviews, anything added to my Tumblr, anything really done for this month, we have a ton to talk about. So I guess I'm going to just get started. First and foremost, I read eight books this month. Now, some of you uh, may be like, well, you did NaNoWriMo, which by the way, I won. Yes. On Saturday, I finished at 50, 51,000 over 51,000 words. So yes, I not only won, um, my story is nowhere near done, but I, I got my 50,000 words in and I'm really along the way to what I think is actually a pretty decent story. I haven't started to hate it yet. So yay. But I did read eight books. Now don't freak out. A lot of these were graphic novels that I read during this month. So I took it easy as far as what I was reading. The first book that I read this month was Java Man by Harris Gray. This is a story that follows a um, owner of a coffee franchise who finds out that he has cancer and he is trying to fight for his business and fight the cancer. Um, Overall, it was an interesting read. That I do have a review on my Tumblr. I will have the link below. But uh, it was interesting. It wasn't necessarily my cup of tea. It was it was funny and and it was it was okay. I had a little trouble uh, connecting with the main character as much as I would have liked to. And for this reason, I gave it three out of five Goombas. The book I read was Lock and Key Volume 1, Welcome to Lovecraft by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. This is a graphic novel that follows three children after their uh, father dies in going and living in, his, in their father's childhood home called uh, Key House. And it's a scary sort of mystery, murder, supernatural graphic novel and uh it is amazing it was so good i enjoyed the story i enjoyed the characters i was a little it took me a little bit to get into it but that's really the only criticism i had in the, overall an excellent job and i gave this one four out of five goombas the third book I read this month was Zombie by Joyce Carol Oates. This book uh, 
was a book that I picked up during October towards the end from the library and I wanted to read something scary. Overall, my issue with this book is that uh, Joyce Carol Oates creates a character that is both disturbing and confusing and frightening in such a way that I don't even want to say I love this book. I <laughs> found it fascinating. I enjoyed the story. It was a very quick read. But following an admitted sex offender who has severe, severely disturbed thoughts, um, basically going on a killing spree, it was disturbing at best. Um, I did enjoy the book overall. I just, I think that my biggest issue was psychosomatic and I don't feel like I can give it higher rating. It's a very good book uh, and I give it three out of five Goombas. After that, I went right back to Lock and Key with volume two, Head Games, again by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. And this, uh, the second volume in this series was even better than the first. Um, you, I now was associating with the characters. I knew their personalities. I knew their flaws. You know, you start to really build and develop relationships to the characters at that point. And Head Games was just, it messed with your mind in a way that made you question what was going on and what was going to happen. And it was excellent. Um, I found it more enjoyable. Uh, I gave that four out of five Goombas. Sticking with the one-two punch of Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez, I read Lock and Key Volume 3, Crown of Shadows. I adored it. Um, if I said I liked Volume 1 and Volume 2, I absolutely loved Volume 3. It hit me right where it hurts. I I am so absolutely enthralled with the story. I have to know what happens. I am desperately wanting to read volume four. I just can't wait. It is. It was such a good kind of taste that got me wanting more and just going insane. After I finished Lock and Key, I picked up a brand new read that I got during the month of November, and that was Frey by Joss Whedon, Carl Mullen, and Andy Owens. This book is set in the Buffy universe, and it takes place hundreds of years in the future and follows Malika, or Malika Frey, who is the uh, current slayer, or she finds out that she's the uh, Slayer. And this was awesome. You immediately fall in love with the characters, especially Frey. She is um, caring and cold and ruthless and smart and everything that you want in a Slayer, let alone a main character. And just the story is excellent. The uh, the whole thing with the Watchers is great. No spoilers, but um, absolutely a great read. My only criticism and my only, the only negative to this is that there's no more. <laughs> and that makes me sad because this was so good. I really wanted to read more, but alas, there are no more. Uh, and I gave Frey five out of five Goombas. Another thing I picked up during the month of November was Percy Jackson and the Olympians uh, box set. And I read the first book, The Lightning Thief, uh, during November. This is the story of Percy Jackson, who finds out that he is a demigod and has to go to a camp called Camp Half-Blood, where half-blood children, that is children that are half-god and half-mortal, go to uh, learn how to survive. As being half-god, they are hunted by monsters. And this story 
uh, follows Percy, who is basically accused of stealing Zeus's master lightning bolt. This book was great. One of the things that I absolutely adored in this uh, book and I'm in and enjoying in the entire series as I'm already reading the second one is the whole uh, use of Greek mythology. I think that mythology is something that as children we're taught, we learn the stories, we really know them in our hearts and um, they're interesting. This takes those beloved stories and creates a reali uh, reality where they are true and real and it's so good. This book kind of made me fangirl because I felt very nostalgic for like Harry Potter and it was just a quick, fun, lovable read. I absolutely adore the characters. Um, they're just, they're, they're fantastic. Honestly, I can't say enough good things about these characters. <sighs> okay. So yeah, so, uh, the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. I gave this book five out of five Goombas. The last thing that I read this month was The Annotated Sandman Volume 1 by Neil Gaiman. This is a, another graphic novel who follows Morpheus, who is the king of the dream world, who was captured and held, and after he escapes, has to go about setting order to the dream world, which has fallen apart since his disappearance. This uh, entire volume was excellent. Um, the volume that I have is black and white, so I didn't have the color photos, but it was so dark and twisted that I felt like it lended its hand to the black and white very well. Um, again, I have nothing to compare it to because I haven't read Sandman with the color, but it was very good. It was very dark. And while the stories uh, were interesting and captivating, I did find myself having to take a moment and step back because they were so dark. Some of the stories in this are really, really scary and just pretty horrible. Uh, but overall, it was excellent. I enjoyed it very much as I enjoy everything that I've read by Neil Gaiman so far and I can't wait to pick up the next volume and see what happens next for Morpheus and the other assortment of characters. I gave this, The Sandman by Neil Gaiman, four out of five Goombas. So that is it for me you guys. That is my November wrap-up. I I'm not planning on doing a December TBR currently because um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a book spring cleaning or a uh, clearing out of the TBR. Basically, I'm going to be trying again to get all of the books that have been in my TBR list gone for the new year. Um, we'll see how well this goes. If you look behind me, uh, I've reorganized my bookshelf. If you want a bookshelf tour, I do have new books, so I could do that. Let me know in the comments if you do. But these two shelves are all the books that I own that I have not read. Well, this shelf here is all the ones I have. So basically, I need to get on the reading. And that's how I'm going to start. So uh, I'm so glad you guys stuck around. Thank you. And seeing as I have been MIA for an entire month, my question for you today is, what have you been up to? What have I missed? What do I need to get on board with? What are the new books? Whatever. Just what's new and what's going on? Uh, thank you so much. And I will be back tomorrow with uh, Let's Talk Tuesday and the rest of the week making up some tag videos that I need to get on. All right. Thanks, guys. I will see you later. Bye.